I'm standing in the pulpit of Phoenix First Assembly of God, where one night I was preaching to a house full of people in a crusade. It was right here that I had to stop. I didn't understand it. Something supernatural was happening in me. It was so urgent that it interrupted everything I was saying, and I looked out in the audience right over there. I saw the face of a man that made every other face in the audience disappear. And I knew I had to stop speaking in that moment, for I had something to say to him that was going to change both of our lives forever. You say, Mara, there are outsiders here who might not understand. I'm going to explain that what we're doing is not for emotion's sake, but there is a flow of God's presence, a flow of the anointing of Jesus Christ, and we must understand what he is doing. In Jesus' name, I bless you. I want you to look this way. I'm just a man. That's all I am. But I'm under the severe presence of God. There are two men over to my right that the Holy Spirit is making uh, very real to me that I'm to minister to them. And I'm going to ask for help. The first is a gentleman who's got a dark suit on, wearing glasses, and a paisley tie. Yes, sir. I'm going to tell you something, sir. Put it out of your mind that you're going to go home the same as you came, because you will not. You are under the very blessing of God. Now, if you'll just do what I ask, and we, we want everyone to understand this is going to move very quickly. It's moving slow right now, but it's going to accelerate very quickly. Sir, I want you to put your hand over your lungs, over your heart right now. I want to ask the, the, the wonderful lady I believe is with you, would you both take a moment and stand to your feet? I've not had the privilege of meeting these people. We didn't get together at Denny's and set this up. We are under the very presence of God. My brother, the Lord is healing your heart, blood, lungs, your back, legs. You have five areas of your body that are being healed by Jesus Christ. But far more than your healing in your body, there's something happening to your spirit, my friend. Because you have a gift from God that was attacked by the enemy. He tried to banish you and put you on the sideline so that the real vision God gave you could not be fulfilled. And he attacked your health. He affected you with allergies, respiratory problems, blood problems, walking problems, all of these things. I'm telling you the word of the Lord. We can't possibly be coincidence. Does what I say witness in your heart? If it does, raise your hand and wave to these people and just tell them it's right. What I'm saying is, is accurate. Wave your hands right now if it's true. Look at this. I bind arthritis. I bind heart disease. I bind every bit of this in the name of Jesus Christ. God has given you a tongue of fire to preach with fire and power. You have a ministry. I've never met you. I don't know who you are, but you are healed in Jesus' name, and you'll never be the same. Everybody better give God the glory right now. Because you don't know what you said when you said raise your hands. The doctors have told him that if he raises his hands for more than a few seconds, he would have an Im imminent heart attack. He's had multiple bypass surgeries. He's had major heart disease. It, it, there's no wonder he's not even supposed to stay on his feet very long. And, and the Lord healed him of everything that you described. Mario, he, he's also had terrible respiratory problems that he just couldn't get over with. Everything you said, and you said God had a great, he's one of our leading deacons who visits people, who cares for people. I mean, he wants to work for God 24 hours a day, and he does, but he's limited with what he can do for God because of his physical. You, we all sat over there tonight, and we were amazed at what God did through you speaking to this man. It's time to raise praise your hands, Jesus. Howard. Show him, give God glory.